You know that section of Ephesians 5 that's all about husbands and wives and how Christ also loved his bride, the church, gave himself up for her? Well, I could be wrong, but I'm willing to wager that most of us miss a key Old Testament allusion in those verses. So Paul says that Christ has cleansed the church, how? By the washing of water with the word. Now, I'm always urging you to listen to the New Testament with one ear tuned into the Old Testament. Did you catch it? The allusion is to Ezekiel 16, one of the chapters that we read this morning, if you're reading through the Bible along with me. So go back to Ezekiel chapter 16, and this is a long and very graphic portrayal of how God finds his people abandoned, wallowing in blood. And what does he do? Well, Ezekiel 16 verse 9 says, I, this is God speaking, I bathed you with water and then washed off your blood, anointed you, dressed you in splendor, made you my bride. That's what God says to Israel. That's the same thing that Christ does for his church. He cleanses her by the washing of water with the word so that she can be presented before him without spot or wrinkle in splendor. So what God does for Israel is the same thing that in Ephesians 5, Christ does for his church. He washes us with water through the word. That's what baptism is. It is the word drenched water that cleanses us, that washes us clean so that we as the body of Christ might be resplendent before him.